What's up, YouTube family? T.O. here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you tonight for some Bass Fishing 101, the tips and tricks that you guys have been waiting for. We're finally starting to get into some of those. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you about something that I think is something that a ton of anglers struggle with, especially new anglers, and that is leader lines. This is going to be a pretty short video, but from what I understand, there's not a lot of good videos out there that teach you how to do leader lines. At least that's what I'm being told by some of these youth anglers that like to have me tie their leader lines. So the point of this video tonight is to teach you guys how to do those leader lines so that when you go out on the lake next time, you can do it yourself and you don't have to ask the boat captain. Hey, anyways, let's stick around. We've got some good stuff for you. Here we go. All right, before I jump over and get into the camera and really zooming into my hands and tying this knot, I want to talk to you real quick about why you would need a leader line. So you're probably wondering, you know, why would I need a leader line? Maybe, maybe you're asking that or you, maybe you've already figured it out. So since this is 101, let's talk about it real quick. Well, one thing is if you are tying braid, so you're tying braid directly to your reel, that is actually incorrect. And it's gonna cause it, make it to where it feels like your reel is slipping, like your drag is off. So you'll you'll hook into a big fish and all of a sudden you'll start feeling it slipping, even though you've got your drag tied down really, really tight. And what's happening is that braid is actually slipping on that spool on your reel. So what you need to do is you need to, unfortunately, take all of the braid off, start off with a fluorocarbon leader or even a mono it doesn't matter whatever kind of line you've got just as long as it's not braid start off with that put it on there and kind of get the bottom of the spool covered with some of that line and then tie you a leader line to the braid and then go ahead and put your braid on the reel that'll keep it from slipping and uh, really keep you from uh, from having a lot of troubles out there so that's one way that you need that one reason why you would need a leader line the other reason why you would need a leader line is a lot of people like to rig up their spinning reels with braid to fluoro leaders, so fluorocarbon leaders. So um, that is definitely a way that I like to fish. I like to have that braid on there. One, because it keeps the line on the spinning reels from being able to get, you know, all up. I don't even know what it's called, but basically weathered or it just basically, it gets memory in there that basically causes that line to spool up really bad. And so it's, you know, it's kind of a pain when you're using spinning reels. I'm not a big spinning reel fan, but I've started to become more of a spinning reel fan because I did end up doing like 10 pound braid to maybe a, an eight pound fluoro. And that has really made a big difference. I can cast with it really far uh, and I have a lot of good sensitivity. So that is another reason why you would want to use a leader line. Um, other than that, <clears throat> you know, maybe just trying to save some line, things like that. I'm sure there's other reasons out there, but those would be my two primary reasons why I would want to tie a leader line. One would be, I need that leader line if I'm tying on uh, braid as my main line for my reel or if I'm going braid to fluoro or something else like that. So let's jump into it. Let's switch over here to the camera. I'm gonna to try to explain to you guys how to tie this leader line. I'm hoping it's gonna help. Here we go. Okay, to begin with, this is going to be the line that goes to the reel. So the orange line is the line that goes to the reel. The black line is the leader line. So this would be the line that goes to the hook. First step is going to be to make a loop with the main line, the line that's going to the reel or coming from the reel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here and we're just gonna make a loop just like that, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna give ourselves a little bit of leader line, you know, I would say five or six inches at least, um, maybe a little bit more. Just give yourself a pretty decent little leader line there and then you're gonna hold that there steady. So that's really all we're gonna do is we're just gonna make that loop just like we talked about and we're going to cross it over just like that so nothing too crazy just yet so what we're going to do is we're going to take that loop that we just made and we're going to pick it up with our hands we're going to set it on the bottom of our index finger and our thumb and as you can see here it's just that loop it's the same loop that i had when i was setting it down on the table next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the line the leader line that we're going to be using and we're going to feed that through the bottom so right here Okay, so I'm going to feed that through the bottom and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it about two and a half times my leader line length. So there's one, there's two and a half, about that long. Okay, then I'm going to take my middle finger 
and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right through the bottom of that loop, okay? The same loop, still holding it. All I did was run the line through it. I take my middle finger and I'm gonna hold it just like this. Now, I'm gonna take this hand, this one here, and I'm gonna take that black line and put it into my grip where I had it pinched, okay? Now, I've got my middle finger here. I've got it pinched here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this index finger and this thumb, and I'm gonna switch it out with these guys. So I'm just gonna take it here and make the pinch, okay? So now I have everything in my right hand, and if you look underneath, I'm gonna flip you off a little bit, I'm sorry, but you can see my middle finger is still in that loop, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this leader line that we had, and I'm going to loop it around four times. So one, again, keeping tension down here, right? With my middle finger, I'm keeping tension, and I'm keeping tension right here as well where I'm pinching it. Okay, so one, two. Now, if this was real fishing line, I would do this seven times. But do I'm going to go four because this is very thick line. It's hard to do. So I go four all the way around. Okay, so this is what it would look like. Now, if you're using fishing line, yours is going to have seven, right? Where I have four, you would have seven. I like seven up and seven down when I'm using fishing line. Again, I'm using my middle finger here to put a lot of tension on this, and I'm also using this hand right here to put a lot of tension on this side. So I've got it pretty tight. It might not look like it on camera, but I've got some tension here. The next step that I've gone up and I've looped it around four times or seven times if we're actually doing fishing line, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna come back down and we're gonna fill in these gaps that you see right here. So I'm gonna take it, grabbing it over here, and I'm gonna loop it down through those gaps that we see there, okay? So I'm just using my hands, and again, if you're watching, my middle finger is keeping a lot of pressure here, and that's the key to doing this, is keeping that middle finger down there and keeping that pressure on it. And then you'll notice that with my hands, I'm pulling the line through, and I'm just threading it over and under until I get to the end. So now I've gone over and under till I get to the end and my last step is going to be to take that line, the end of that line, which is gonna be right here. There's the end of the line and I'm gonna stick it where I had my middle finger. So I'm gonna to go to the back side of my middle finger. So I'm gonna take that line and I'm gonna stick it down the back side of my middle finger, okay? So if I flip my hand over, you'll see, I just stuck it right through the center, okay? So pull that through, and once you pull that through, then you're going to take your middle finger out. Okay, so I'm gonna slide my middle finger out, and when I do that, you'll notice that I've got that loop. So this is what it would look like before I start tightening it up. Now when you're tightening it up, you wanna use your tag lines, so this line and this line, to tighten everything up, okay? So pull on it a little bit and kind of tighten it. Now the key too is if you're using fishing line, is you're gonna to wanna to wet that line. And then what you do is when you're pulling it tighter, you just wanna make sure that all of these things are lining up correctly, that they're not overlapping each other, that they're staying in those gaps. And so you pull that tag line, take your time, don't get too crazy and trying to go too fast. Take your time, pull those tag lines in, get them nice and snug, and then pull your main lines as well, make sure they're nice and snug. And then what you have there is a really, really tight leader line. So the last thing you would have left to do would be to cut off your tag ends. So we'll go here, we'll cut off these tag ends. There's one, cut off our other tag end. There's two, and there we have it. We have a perfect leader line. So I hope that helps you guys out a ton. Make sure that when you're putting that leader line together that you're paying attention to the way the line lines up in here and that it's getting into those gaps correctly. That's gonna give you a really, really smooth leader line. If I were to do this with fluorocarbon, you would see it. There would not be much of a knot at all. So this hopefully is gonna help you guys out and allow you to tie that leader line finally uh, and get it done. Anyways, guys, hope this helps you. Until next time, hope you catch your PB. Take it easy.